on Facebook, YouTube, the day of Raphael. God is our healer. No, not Tuesday. No, not the God terror that you don't even know about. All right. Okay. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, everybody, calm down. Calm down. Mac is not worshiping St. Patrick. I am honoring this brother for trying to bring the Christianity to Ireland. If y'all know the true facts of this brother, um, I hope you research it. Okay, you know, I got my shamrock representing the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to have me some fun today. Ooh, God gave me some messages today. Woo, whoa. Hardcore spiritual messages. Hardcore kingdom messages today, y'all. Wow. Get ready for some hardcore truth. All right, but the first message God showed me this morning, you know, I was listening to the morning cruise, you know, uh, and and I was listening to uh, your girl, what's your girl name? Ah, uh, oh, the girl name on the morning cruise, and she was talking about how she was interceding and praying for a brother uh, interceding and praying for a friend you know and she was you know they were in the wait they were waiting you know waiting for God to do a miracle for them and, and God does and she was saying God doesn't work you know uh, uh, God doesn't work when we want to work God doesn't you know go by how we go do things, you know, she come to that understanding, you know what I'm saying, uh, that God doesn't work in the time that we want him to work, you know what I'm saying, we have to wait for his, you know, for his. and then she quoted uh, 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 Isaiah 55, he said, she said, his ways are not our ways, and his thoughts are not our thoughts, and boy, it got to remind me of this message I did a while back. I think I did a message like this on my videos. I think I did uh, in this thing. But God showed me a different angle. You know what I'm saying? Hello, how y'all doing? Hey, I'm on YouTube. Check me out. Mac, M-A-C-K, Johnson, The Reality. Hey, Johnson, The Reality? Yeah, M-A-C-K. Be blessed. How you doing, brother? You okay? Um, you know, and the thing is, he gave me a message, and the thing is, um, uh, God bless you, bro. He gave me a message, and this uh, topic of the message is, uh, check this out. He said, the reality of look at the scale. Woo! Look at the scale. <laughs> wow! That's a, uh, oh, man. Look at at the scale you know the uh, see, here's the thing y'all let me show y'all God's scale you know what that Isaiah's trying to help you see you know what I'm saying um his he, he, she the Isaiah said his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our thoughts neither the heavens are higher than the earth Heavens, check out heaven, y'all. Check out heaven. Check out heaven. Heaven. Oh, that's not even heaven. You go beyond the sky. There is a space behind that blue, blue, blue sky. You know, that's a space out there. But anyway, uh, he said even the heavens are higher than the earth. So as God's thoughts and His ways are higher then our ways look at the scale look i had this relationship i have a relate i developed this relationship with god and boy <laughs> the places he took me oh i words cannot describe you know 
I understand the Chris Tomlin God of undescribable. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing about what God you need to understand here that you are having a covenant relationship with. He's called the unmeasurable. Unmeasurable. I repeat, unmeasurable God that you, we need to come to understand in God's scale. Because when we talk about heaven, we're not talking about clouds. We're not talking about really blue sky. We're talking about a space that cannot be measured, that NASA cannot find a wall. They got a, a Voyager out there, and I don't know, I think a Voyager 2 out there, trying to measure this big place. They're, they, they're, mad, they're out there, I mean, Voyager way out there, you know? And the thing is, they say, whoa, wait a minute, where is the uh, wall? Where, where, where is the ceiling? Where, where is the floor? You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they're trying to measure God. Well, you know, when, I, when you have a relationship with God, like I develop with, you know, God, um, that you're going to find out um, he's um, immeasurable. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, here's the thing that, you know, I'm noticing uh, that the uh, Christians, you know, I notice Christians, the Jews still got difficult issues, you know, with uh, uh, the God uh, that, of God. But the Christians that, you know, they kind of like, you know, uh, how they treat God, you know. I try to present these things uh, that are going on in the church, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the, I try to present these things that call that, you know, don't you notice that, you know, the church is divided into denominations? Yeah, and, and you know, and, and the uh, Ephesians 4 says, you know, uh, that we're supposed to be united in the spirit and united in the faith or come to the unity of the spirit and the unity of the faith. And church system is the way they're got their churches here and churches there and not working together in the communities together not understanding that reality they're not understanding that word that we're supposed to be united together you know in the faith and they like uh, uh, whatever about the uni unity of the of uh, spirit and the unity of the faith yeah uh, uh, whatever forget that okay well the thing is, you know, this church, you know, they got this uh, traditional system, you know, and they like to do things the old fashioned way most of the time and how they conduct things. And this thing that Jesus Christ said in uh, Matthews uh, 15 talks about, you know, making making the commandment of the word of God a none effect through your own tradition. You know, about talking about the tradition of men, but you know, a lot of people like churches like to operate in a traditional fashion of ministering the word of God. Hmm. Okay, uh, Christians like ah, uh, that's nothing. You know, okay. Uh, well, this is this fashion. They wear suits and they wear dresses. You know, and they dress up and wear suits to church, and you know present themselves like they're some holy person and righteous person but uh, uh, the thing is you know Jesus was you know talking in Matthews 23 about this you know this appearance you know talking about religious people or the scribes and Pharisees about this appearance that they you know look like you know they're holy but out of, but inside them is full of dead men's bones or you know, he's talking about, you know, these people that are, sh you know, in the outward, they, they're showing works. They're doing like, they, they're doing the right thing, but, you know, they're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, read uh, the whole Matthew 23. And, you know, and, and then it says in Matthew 23, 13, that, you know, that, you know, he said that if by doing what they're doing, they are shedding up the kingdom of heaven. 
Yes, they're shutting up the kingdom of heaven by what they're doing. And it's like, mm, wait a minute, you're 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 doing this activity. Oh yeah, they say, oh nah, the church say, the Christian says, ah, that's no big deal. 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 But Jesus, God, answer our prayers like your word of God says. Huh. Really? Um, they're Jesus. They are supposed to answer prayer in spite of the error that you are continually doing. Um, see, that see, error is an earth way. You know what I'm saying? A world system way. You know what I'm saying? That you operate in a world system that, you know, it loves error and loves doing things in error. You know what I'm saying? Any earth, you know, that y'all live at. But, you know, in heaven, there is no error. There is no error in heaven. You no, know? there's no error. There's just spirit, as Jesus says, spirit and truth. Um, the thing is, there's no error in heaven. You know what I'm saying? There's no error. There's no wrong thing. There's no, but on earth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can do all the error you want to. And, and unfortunately, in the name of God. Like, you know, they think I'm doing error because I'm honoring St. Patrick's Day for ministering to Christianity to Ireland. Yes, I'm doing things in error. Forgive me. Um, you know, the thing is, look. Look at the scale. Look at the scale. Look at the scale of this earth. See, you can measure the earth. You can me they know the measurements of the earth. They know the me you can measure the things that are in the earth. You can measure your house. You can measure your car. You can measure whatever you got on you. Everything on this earth can be measured. But when it comes to heaven, there is no measure, no measure to heaven. Now, here's the thing. Let me give you a tip here, everyone, Christians and everyone else. Um, the thing is, uh, read um, Ephesians um, 3. Yeah, read Ephesians 3, you know. Ephesians 3 talks about, uh, uh, Paul gives these measurements. And he gives these you know, uh, uh, that, that, that he's talking about the height and no depth. I mean, the height and depth and the width and all these me measurements. You know what I'm saying? He gives he, about how you should expand your heart. You know what I'm saying? He gives you these measurements of how you should width and all that kind of stuff to expand your heart. But guess what? Paul didn't give you he gave you these measurements but guess what he didn't give you no number no he didn't give you no number so say well well Matt what that means oh what that means if he didn't give you no number means uh, <laughs> you got a whole lot of loving to do you have a whole lot of, uh, well, by faith, through grace, that you need to understand, that you need to come to an understanding within your heart that Jesus says in Matthew 13, you know what I'm saying? Because these people have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear. They're not understanding that God has no measure. And if you continue to keep breaking and not his laws concerning the word of God are not following the word of God he cannot respond and work concerning your disobedience God is not going to cooperate in no disobedience God can only do accordingly that's what it says he said it can, can do accordingly that's all God can operate accordingly to how you treat his instructions and if the church want to play stupid and dumb concerning ignoring the instructions that they're not doing according to the word of God and think God is supposed to get off his throne and tell all the angels to help them out. They got the wrong God. 
And you know what I'm saying? Because this God is a holy God and does things according to his word. You better learn from the Jews about this God that has no measure. And look at the scale. That's the message. I hope you check out the scale and understand. To God be the glory here forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.